Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here and in today's video, we're going to be reviewing this Toyota Tundra TRD Off-Road and I'm going to explain in today's video why this is the Toyota Tundra sweet spot. This is the Tundra you should buy. Before we get into this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Larch Miller Toyota here in Murray, Utah for giving me some time with this truck. I'm going to include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Powering the Tundra is a twin-turbo 3.4-liter V6 that goes through a 10-speed automatic transmission. Power outputs are 389 horsepower and then 479 pound-feet of torque with fuel economy being 17 around town and then 22 on the highway. Now before we go over the front end, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. Now taking a look at the hood, you guys can see it's raised there on either side and I like the new look to be honest. And then coming down below, we actually have these nice LED headlights here and then look how you've got some venting down below. And then the whole grill is pretty much blacked out with a trim around it, it's actually chrome. Got your subtle TRD logo there on the side. And then we also do have fog lights there at the bottom, but anyways, here is the front end of the Tundra. Now coming around the side here, our tire wheel setup is 265, 70, 18 in the front and over in the rear. And then you guys can see here with the wheel design, notice you got the silver on the outside and then it's blacked out in the center. I think that looks pretty cool. And these are uh, LTX trails for the uh, tires. There's a quick look at the tread pattern on them. And well, by the way, being a TRD off-road means we've got Bilstein shocks. Pretty cool looking fender flares here. You've got our Tundra badge on the side. Now it's the mirror cap blacked out and then also with the pillar it's also blacked out. Anyways we've got the sidestep rock rail protection here on the side. And then we have the TRD 4x4 off-road decal here on the back. And then by the way the new Tundra has multi-link in the rear. And here's your full side view with the Tundra. I love the cuts in the fenders. I think it looks really sharp. So here's a key fob. We have our lock function or unlock function. The lowering for the tailgate and the Toyota logo and we'll just hold that down. Now popping into the bed, it looks like this one happens to have the composite bed from the factory and you guys can see with the tie down points there in the bed which is pretty cool and then by the way lifting up the tailgate, pretty dang easy. I love the new style of taillights here with the Tundra, I think those are pretty sharp, got the Tundra logo stamped into the tailgate 4x4 off to the side and then we have the receiver hitch at the bottom, tows about 10,000 pounds. Putting it all together, let me know what you guys think about the style here on the Tundra TRD off-road. Now popping inside, we've got some padding here where you're going to rest your arm. And then I like to look at the door handle. Definitely has a very utilitarian appearance. And popping over to the seats, you guys can see perforated all down the center with the kind of camo design in the center. And then you can lift up the seat for more storage underneath. And then they're lockable in the up position. And then we've got this nice loading floor in front of it. Now the Tundra is absolutely massive in the cab area. So we've got tons of legroom here. We've got a little storage pocket. Some cup holder action, some vents, some more storage, and then we have some more cup holder armrest action. And then last but not least, headroom's great. Now taking a look at the front door panel, you can see the padding here at the top and then also down below. We've got all of our window controls here, door lock and unlock, mirror adjustment, and then there's a quick look at the mirrors themselves. And then here's the front seat. You can see again, perforated all down the center portion. You got your power adjustments right here. And then we've got our payload sticker here, 1,395 pounds of payload on this one. And then you get fancy paddles with the TRD off-road. And then up here, you guys can see with like the light controls, the odometer, auto stop start if you want to turn that off. And then the steering wheel is, or not power, rather manually adjustable. Now here is the steering wheel. You guys can see you've got kind of like a cowhide-ish texture here at the top and at the bottom, and then it's perforated on the sides here. We have adaptive cruise control with our lane keep assist. We've got volume controls, voice command controls, you know, all those fun things. And then we have our turn signal light stock and then our windshield wiper stock. Now here's our center gauge cluster. You guys can see it's mostly analog, but we do have a little screen there in the center to give us different bits of info on, you know, stuff within the truck, fuel economy, speed, you know, all the normal stuff. And while we're in this area, we can go over the drive mode. So we have a sport, normal, and eco. We also have a tow haul mode that we can pop on as well. Now in reverse, we do have a backup camera with trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel. Now as for the rest of the infotainment system, response time is actually really good with the screen itself. And it's just Toyota's newer unit. Obviously this is a smaller one you can get with the Tundra, which I think looks fine because it's nicely integrated with the dash and you've got your volume control there on the side too. 
So down below, we've got our analog controls here for the dual zone climate system. We've got heated seats on top of that. And then down below that, we've got this for the stability control hazard lights. And then we do have a rear locking differential. Your parking brake's actually located here. You've got your auto hold. And then we have our shifter for that 10 speed automatic transmission. Notice this says T or D on it, which is pretty cool. And then we have our drive line select. So this has two wheel drive, four wheel high, four wheel low, no four wheel auto. Drive mode select, we got our tow haul mode. Your multi-terrain select, so that's your off-road drive modes, and then you also have your hill descent control, slash crawl control. And then we got some like storage in this area right here, some cup holder action, and then you got a little window with the center console. You can just also open this up if you want. Some USB action inside, pretty cool. And then some nice padding there on top. You have some storage here at the top of the glove box area, also at the top of the dash, and then your little 12 volt there. And then inside the glove box, some more storage. And at the very top, we have this button right here, which is for the window. The whole window goes down. Such a cool feature. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, we do have trailer brake controls integrated from the factory. So here's our window sticker for this Tundra. This is built off of the SR5. So you guys can see the standard equipment, base MSRP right there. And then we've got the TRD off-road package, 3,900 bucks. I think it's worth it for the skid plates and the shocks and everything else that this comes with. Um, but obviously you guys can say if that's worth it or not, but I, I do think it is. Anyways, total MSRP on this is $55,588. Any world where every single pickup truck is like $65,000 plus, this is 55 grand. And I feel like it has a lot of options for the money. Let's cap things off. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's the visibility of the hood, both of the mirrors, and then throughout the rest of the rear, and Tundra away. So I've actually driven quite a few uh, new Tundras. I actually had a TRD off-road demo. Um, that was the first Tundra demo I ever uh, had. And I'm actually gonna be, uh, if you guys aren't subscribed already, this is another reason why you should subscribe. I'm gonna be having a TRD Pro as a demo for a week uh, in, oh gosh, I think it's like a couple weeks from now. So yeah, if you guys wanna see some Tundra TRD Pro content, then uh, just subscribe. But, woo! <laughs> 3.4 liters of fury. Yeah, it's it's a powerful engine. That's for sure. So I find it funny in the window sticker, Toyota no longer states, like I, I think originally they stated like 3.5 liter V6, but now the window sticker just says twin turbo V6 because they, it's a 3.445 liter. So it's technically 3.4 liters. And so yeah, everyone gave Toyota crap. And so now Toyota's like, ah, it's, just, it's actually just a twin turbo V6. But anyways, right. outside of Toyota doing some funny stuff with rounding, I think this is a great truck. Um, I think it looks, you know, obviously looks are subjective and you know, some people don't like the front end of the Tundra cause it's really big, but I think it looks good, especially in TRD Pro uh, guys. So like, for example, look at this TRD Pro right here, blacked out. I think, I think the styling works when everything's kind of like blacked out or the platinum package. Of course I'm showing the expensive ones. You know, I, I think that it kind of like, I don't know, it, it works a little bit better, but anyways, Focusing on this package, um, it drives just like every other Tundra. Like outside of the TRD Pro, all the Tundra and the Platinum, and I guess the Capstone, the Tundras all pretty much drive the same. So like if you get a Limited, if you get an SR5, it's it's gonna drive the same. So why get this one? I think this one is the best Tundra to get because it's actually like reasonably, reasonably priced, especially compared to other pickup trucks. So like Ford F-150 XLT FX4 competes against this. And I feel like these seats are nicer than the cloth ones you get in the XLT. And on top of that, it's like $10,000 plus less. Like XLTs now are, every single one I see in a dealer lot, they're always $65,000, $70,000, $55,000. Now given, you know, there might be some discounts on the Ford trucks now because they aren't uh, selling all that well, shocker. Uh, but even, you know, even with, uh, I mean, you have to discount literally $10,000 to get at the MSRP of this truck. So the point that I'm trying to make, I think that this is like a really good value. This has everything that you need. It's got a backup camera, right? So that you can park this big old beast and you can hook up to a trailer using the little line there in the center. It's got four wheel drive. It's got hill, it's got off-road stuff, right? And these tires aren't the most aggressive, but you could easily, you know, just swap out for more aggressive off-road tires. And I mean, like, like I said, this interior is nice and it's got the window. It's got the window that goes all the way down. So. Seriously, what more could you ask for out of a pickup truck? Let me know what you guys think, but I think SR5 TRD Off-Road, that is the Tundra to get, and that's probably the pickup truck to get with how Toyota's priced this so reasonably.